Well, good morning. We are leaving the um, campground here. Since it was dark when I drove in, I will film the drive out. So it's actually twenty dollars for non-residents, and I do not. That's not worth twenty bucks. Turn left onto Nevada State Park Road. I mean, I would try and get somewhere else. Take the next left onto Nevada State Park Road. But it is 712. Continue on Nevada State Park Road for three quarters of a mile. And we are going to head to the Ruby Mountains on our way to um, Utah. We're not going to go back to Elko. We're going to do the little loop. Oh, I had to go to the bathroom, but the restroom's just reeked. Ooh, they gave me the shivers. <laughs> Actually went over the dam of this lake last night, didn't even know it. To buy some In washer quarter mile, last turn night. right onto Lower South Fork Road. I need to get a funnel too. I think it's hard to pour in this truck. Take the next right onto Lower South Fork Road. <clears throat> so this road, hopefully, is. Huh. Gravel. <laughs> oh, it's an Continue auto tour route. Road for one and a half miles. Well, we'll see how this goes. I thought it was paved. Um, it's 46 miles up to this um, trailhead in the mountains. Oh, I hope I didn't make a mistake. Didn't look like a gravel road on the map. We can only hope it turns into a um, paved road again.
okay, it, we do that. We get back on the highway soon. So I could have went back um, toward the highway, but it would have been a ways toward town. So this this road is only temporary. Thank God. <laughs> I can't do this again. Oh wow, there's a school bus on this road. Wow. expect to see that. So we're going to highway, it's like 228. So I'm up to $41 for my cost of camping for four nights. Technically it's 46, but I had already paid $15 before I saw this morning that it was $5 more for non-Nevada residents. And I'm not gonna bother with that other five bucks. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Wow. I think this is a, a wash. Looks like rainwater comes off down the valley. again it's been a couple days uh, we are Seven almost to the highway feet. continue straight huh that's confusing she says continue straight I guess straight, straight straight on the road you're on, but in reality, if you go straight, you're on a, another road. <laughs> Continue for three quarters of a mile. Ah, this looks like semi blacktop. Yeah, I was I was a little worried when I turned onto that gravel road. Like, um, that would be a long drive through the mountains on that gravel road because the entire loop is like 90 miles probably um, I didn't know if I wanted to do that that's that would have been twice as long as the Steen mountains but we should have pavement in half a mile <laughs> degrees the truck says I wonder if I got down to the upper 30s definitely my coldest night um, so my plan is to go up to the Yellowstone and the Tetons and I think I might get a um, I might get a sleeping bag to help with the um, cold in 1,000 feet turn right onto Nevada 228 south Wow, that was a confusing intersection back there. Here. Ah, blacktop. Take the next right onto Nevada 228 South. This is the road I wanted. So I still have my sandwich from, oh gosh, is it two days ago? Continue for 32 miles. Put it in Ziploc bags last night, so it should be good.
I can't believe there's cell service way down here. I mean, there are a lot of houses. Elko looks like a neat place, maybe. I need to see how uh, these mountains are before I say that. But um, maybe it's better than Winnemucca because it's more centrally located. The only other place I can think of is Baker, Nevada, maybe. It's really centrally located. Um, you're a lot farther south, though. It gets a lot hotter, I think. But I have never been there, so I'm not really sure. Maybe Elko would be the most centrally located place in the west to live if you want to go like any direction in one day or two days even. tour bus it looks like jeez wonder what they're doing on this road it's like another one coming so this is the south fork of the Humboldt River Coach USA. I wonder if they're doing like western road trips for um, people that sign up for like package deal. Take you out for a couple weeks. Spend the night in hotels, motels. Oh, I am a little chilly, but I think I'll turn the heat on. I think it'll be better the rest of the trip about finding places. Nevada just has some really desolate stretches, unfortunately. Um, if I, I mean, I could have got off the highway and driven, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 miles north or south, but I didn't want to do that. This worked out all right. I drove 20 miles south, but I'm on a loop road, so that worked out. Luckily, it worked out. Definitely um, cheaper camping like this than having an RV or staying in RV parks all the time. Um, totally see why people do that. Do all their stealth camping, boondocking, have all their solar panels, generators, all that stuff in their vans. And a lot of them don't drive as much as me even. I mean, they're literally living on the cheap. It's awesome. And you're seeing all this stuff
driving through the campsite on the east side of the lake, but I didn't want to waste the time. I thought I saw a sign about something in that area being closed too, so I wonder if it's even open. Um, there might have been construction going on. Wow, these mountains are pretty incredible that we're going to go up into. They look neat from down here at least. It's up to 50 degrees all of a sudden. because it's off center. I can't center it in this car because the rear view mirror mount goes down so low and the window is slanted. It's a small window. Um, I would be like super low or super close to the um, dash and I would get a ton of the hood of the truck. Um, so unfortunately I have to put it off to the right more in front of the passenger which is great for me. It's not in the way of my view. But the RV, I can center it perfectly. The windshield's huge. I think it still works out though. I'm gonna have a lot of files to copy. I need to find a good place tonight and um, take some time. Probably have like, by the time I'm done driving today, I'll have five hours of file copying just to get the files onto my laptop. And then maybe another two hours to put it on um, my external hard drive to back it up. Oh, I have a, I have a um, Olympic Discovery Trail Part Two bike ride premiering today. I think it's in half an hour, eight o'clock, eight a.m. more in the back. Yeah, I thought um, it was, I smelled the truck last night. I, I didn't wash it good enough getting the cow crap off, but it was just the wind from the bathrooms. Like they reeked. I walked by it this morning and happened to get in the direction of the wind and oh my god it was it was nasty I didn't even go inside um, so that was what I was smelling last night luckily the wind died down and I didn't smell it very long it was only when I was setting up the, the, the tent but once I had the window shut it was fresh air <laughs> that thing seals really well to this campground last night and not even tried the um, RV parks in town. Um, basically wasted an hour and a half probably going to those three um, campsites. The one BLM site and the two campground RV parks in town. But it's alright. I, um, I had one beer pretty much went to sleep right away. It was a 10 p.m. by the time I got in the tent. I think I fell asleep by 10.30. Woke up at 6.15 this morning. It's out of the campsite by, I think it was 7, 7 a.m. maybe. Let's 
That sunrise was amazing though, over the lake. memory card in the console. I need to make sure I don't lose that and um, put that in a safe place when I stop maybe. It's a nice road so far. Speed limit 65 but doing 55. Doing old man speed because I can. <laughs> Every day is a Sunday drive for me when I'm traveling. If you're young, you'll understand when you get older. These things slow down. mountain range than I thought. It's it's a little one. I mean, it's not huge, but for the area, I mean, it's bigger than I thought. We're basically driving south um, right now. And the, the range runs north-south. So we're on the western side of it. secondary roads um, they basically are not major highways and they're classified as secondary local roads they don't have shoulders that's what um, really the only difference Whew. Ooh, there's a recreation area there I wonder if you could camp I bet you could like a um, kind of vault toilet there. It's a Zenuno Springs recreation area. And I think it's a uh, Bureau of Land Management. So I'm pretty sure you can camp anywhere on their land. Even a parking lot. You know. Ah. Yeah, there's another. Um, I just passed another entrance. They had a sign. So it's like you have to first camping down. There's another. There's a road that just goes off in the desert. No cell service here though, so.
go a little faster. We'll do 60. 